Hello everyone, this is Sadia Alam. The previous video was about um, math of rate of change of circle. In this one, I will try to cover the uh, maths that are very common in case of a sphere. So, uh, for any spherical object, if this is the radius r, we need to know two formulas. The volume of the sphere, which is 4 by 3 pi r cube, and the total surface area of the volume. Uh, sorry, total surface area of the sphere, that is 4 pi r square. So suppose here is an example, uh, we know the rate at which the radius of the sphere, uh, sphere is increasing which is 0 0.2 meter per second, that's the given information and we need to find the rate at which the volume is increasing and this is your value of radius, like I said you need to use this value at the very end of your maths, not at the beginning. So at first we know the rate of increase of radius that is we know dr by dt which is 0 0.2 sorry this should be meter okay and we need to find the rate at which volume is increasing that is dv by dt so I'm taking here two terms and we need to write dv here and the dt should go at the denominator of the second term not here so dt so we need to fill up these two spaces so above dt we know dr so replace these two places by dr so if we multiply dv by dr and dr by dt then we will get dv by dt so between these two terms dr by dt is 0 0.2 and dv by dr so since we need dv by dr i'm writing the formula of volume 4 by 3 pi r cube so volume here is like your y and radius here is like x so we need to find dv by dr it means only differentiate the terms of r the, ter uh, the values 4 by 3 pi will stay there so by differentiation r cube will become 3 r to the power 3 minus 1 which is 2 so if we cancel out t uh, 3 it becomes 4 pi r square so this is your dv by dr so i am substituting this value here so now you can put your value of r here 1.5 so 4 pi 1.5 square into 0 0.2 that's 4 pi 1.5 square into 0 0.2 so it should be if they ask you to keep your answer in terms of pi or exact value then you can uh, you have to write it in this form if not then take the decimals uh, 5.65 uh, it was meter per second so this will be meter cube per second meter cube because th this is about volume sometimes the value of r is not given directly they can give you the value of the surface area for example 20 meter square in that case uh, you need to use the formula 4 pi r square equals to 20 then subject r so that's how you will get the value of r then you can use this value of r here this has to be done if r is not given directly Okay, so here's a second example. Here's a second example in which uh, you know the rate at which volume of the sphere is increasing, which is 0 0.3, and we need to find the rate at which surface area is increasing. So we know dv by dt, that is, rate of increase of volume 0 0.3. And we need to find the rate at which surface area is increasing that is dA by dt. So like the previous maths I'm going to take dA dt here and as you can see we know dv above dt. So since we know dv I'm going to replace these two spaces by dv. So the problem here is we know the value of dv 
by dt which is 0 0.3 but for this term dA by dV problem is suppose the formula for sphere surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square and the formula for volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube so you can clearly see that a is like your y and r is like your x similarly v is y r is x that is you can differentiate area with respect to radius similarly you can differentiate volume with respect to radius only so for example in the previous math it was dv by dr so you could differentiate volume with respect to radius so y by uh, y and x but in this one you have dA by dV that is both A and V A can be differentiated in terms of R but we don't have any R here similarly volume can only be differentiated in with respect to radius so basically we have two y y's here A and V both are the subject of the equation so you cannot solve this part so that's why we need to break down this term so since it's dv dA I'm going to take two terms and the term dv dt we know the value here which is 0 0.3 so if we look carefully this dv by dt is here okay but dA by dv I'm going to write it like this dA and dv should go to the denominator of the second term that is here so we have to uh, fill up these two uh, spaces it has to be with respect to dr since we can only differentiate area with respect to r so dA by dr which is 4 pi if we differentiate r square it will become 2r so the overall answer uh, overall answer is 8 pi r and if I differentiate this one dv by dr the 4 pi 4 by 3 pi will stay there and r cube will become 3 r square so the final answer is 4 pi r square so I'm going to replace these two values here dA by dr which is 8 pi r but dr by dv that is this is the reciprocal we know the value of dv by r which is 4 pi r square but we need the value of d r by v so we need to take the reciprocal of this so 1 by 4 pi r square into 0 0.3 you can replace the value of r uh, directly here or you can simplify this one pi pi then 4 cancels out with it 8 so it will become 2 into 1 by r into 0 0.3 so the value of r is 0 0.5 so the final answer is 2 by 0 0.5 into 0 0.3 1.2 meter square per second the unit is meter square because the value is for dA by dt